What causes ADHD is still a big unknown. We know it seems to run in family members. The problem is that uh, many parents or grandparents weren't diagnosed back then, so we don't know when you ask family history, do you have anybody with ADHD? The answer is no. But when you start actually looking at the behaviors of the parents or the grandparents or the uncles or the aunts, you find it, it, it does run in families and the behaviors were there even though the person may not have been diagnosed. So we know that it runs in families which means there's a genetic component but we haven't yet identified the various genes that actually cause ADHD. We know that ADHD has to, has to do something with the change in the chemicals in the brain so we know there's a biological component to ADHD uh, and it seems to be some sort of neurologic problem uh, that seems to be more apparent when someone is either bored or doing things that cause a lot of stress. Often when people are doing things, when kids are doing things they really enjoy, like playing video games which change every few seconds, they can do that for hours. And that's confusing to parents because they say, look, how can he have ADHD when he can watch uh, things on TV or he can uh, play video games for hours? It's, it's when kids are doing things that are not challenging, that are too challenging, or things that cause boredom. And, and so there's that component of it, the biologic component. And then ADHD does not operate in a vacuum. So if a child has ADHD, he may do poorly in school, he may have difficulty uh, following the rules in games, he may have difficulty keeping friends, he may have difficulty controlling behaviors, he may have difficulty with self-esteem. So there, there is then a psychological component. Even though that may not be the root cause, it, it may continue the process a Long. So there's probably a genetic component, biologic component, as well as psychological component.